hi welcome back in this video i am going to teach how to make the command box using jsp ajax let i show the demo first so right click run file this is the simple demo here we already have a uh, three commands right this is the user name this is the command right this is the user command I have some course content these are the name of the users these are the commands right now I am going to write the new command so here I am going to write the name here as John leave the command as nice work right click send button here you will be able to see the command below right name of the person John command is nice work right so this how we will command the system works right once you enter the command click send button the command will be display uh, on, on on the below here right it show the command like this right so let's see how to do this system step by step let's back to NetBeans here I already created this project okay I will explain the code step by step so here this is the project name uh, command box I have created uh, inside the web pages folder I have added the bootstrap files and jQuery files right here okay after that I have added the relevant jar files my my SQL connector as well as a JSON jar files right we have added successfully after that double click and open the index.jsp page this is the index.jsp page first what I did here is I have linked the bootstrap files here inside the attack I have linked the bootstrap files after that I have linked the jQuery files inside the body tag I have linked the uh, jQuery files right after that I have designed the form here this is the form tag uh, I have uh, at the ID form ID here is form account this is the ID of the form inside the form we have two fields name and command name we have a input type text okay the name here is the input name here is name right uh, after that command we have put here as text area uh, this is the name common okay this is the name of the text area which is a common right after that we have put one button sent right we have put one button sent right this is the design of the comment box right this is the adding command so the adding I have put it above right I have uh, put the command inside the h1 tag style color blue right we have styled it like this right this is a simple design I made it uh, now here once the user enter the uh, command and click send button what happen is it goes to the function at command function right inside the on click method I have written the function which is a add command function right when the user clicks send button so it goes to the function which is a add command function uh, this function is starting here and closing here this function is starting here and closing here right now here first what I am going to do is here inside the function we have to check the this form is valid or not what is the name of the what is the ID of the form form account we have to check right if the form is valid if you are type the correct ID of the form it is valid after that inside here we have created the variables first one URL var URL after that var we have created the variable here data here we have created as method right we have created three variables first variable var uh, URL equal add dot JSP page we have set the URL add JSP add uh, dot JSP this extension this is the name of the page after that data data mean this is a completely form data we have serialized right completely form data mean this is that form 
right this complete form data we have serialized right what is the data name and comma right these two data we have serialized right that's the thing we have to right this is the name of the form the completely form data we have serialized and assigned to this variable right uh, method post right so what I did here is this completely form data we have serialized and send into which page add JSP add dot JSP page right this JSP page along with the post method right after that we have to retire created the Ajax function this is the starting tag of Ajax this is the closing tag right inside the Ajax function we have created the type here this method right what is the method here post it assigned to this variable you have to call it here uh, this URL right this URL this URL right but the page we have to visit at dot JSP page we have to call the URL here data type we are written here as JSON format data this data complete form data we have serialized and assigned to this variable this variable we have call it here now what I want here do is the Ajax function does is it goes to the uh, complete data we have serialized and uh, goes to this particular URL add.jsv page along with the post method right we have to did the things like this right now what I am going to do is here let's go to the uh, page add.jsv page I have created the add.jsv page here add.jsv let's double click and open it I have created here in this page uh, this is the open tag of JSP this is the close tag of JSP right we already we discuss about all the stuff in our previous tutorials right uh, so here first what I did is here I have created the object of the JSON array right I have created the object of the JSON array as a list this is the object we have created list right after that what I did here is I have I have created two variables name and comment I have created two string variables name and comment so what I did here is I have get those values right here in this form complete data we have serialized and sending to this URL right add.jsv page so what is the data name and comment right this two data right we are serialized and send into add.jsv page what does add.jsv page is we are receiving those values by the name what's the name name and comma what is the name you are written here the same name you have to receiving the values here right name and comma right after receiving the name variable you have to assigning to this particular variable uh, what is the command you are receiving here we have to assign it to this particular variable right now what I did is after that we have created the connection object con after that we have created the prepare statement object PST after that we have created the result set object RS after that what I did here is I have created the object of the JSON object right I have created the uh, JSON object OBJ right JSON object OBJ I have created here uh, after that I have registered the MySQL driver here right class dot form name we have registered the MySQL driver here this is the path database path uh, databases reside on localhost which name is ebook this is the user credential you wrote the username is root password is plan right let's go to the mysql database this is the database name which name is ebook inside the database i have created the table which is comment common table consists of three columns id name and comment these are the comments we written here okay ID name comment right 
now let's back to our add.jsv page after that we have wrote the insert code here insert into common right this is the table common right we have to insert the record into which table common table these are the columns right name and common uh, id should be auto incremented so you no need only name and common right so we have to write the specific column here name and common this these are the uh, two parameters i have to pass two parameters here right two question mark so here this is the parameters we have set it here right name name should be this name right what is the name you are coming here we have to assign this uh, string variable what is the command coming coming uh, coming from the index.jsp we have to passing this variable we have to put it here name and common we have set the parameters here right this number of parameter these two parameters uh, followed by the number of columns in the table right okay this name first parameter second common this one right after that we have to call the method execute update then the record is uh, insert into the database right after that this is the uh, after that we have to call the json object obj here put name here if it is success we have to work this one right if the record is added successfully this one should be works after that we have to call the json array list object here dot that we have to call the object here after that we have to convert the uh, success message as a json format right we have to convert as a json format here right okay this is the thing we have to did here right after that let's back to index.jsp page here inside the ajax success function uh, if the record is added into the database right so if you enter the name and command click send button data is added into the database table what happen is it's back to our ajax success function we have to clear the fields right name field as well as a common field right we have to clear like this right uh, here this one right name field and common field right after click send button right it's clear all the stuff is clear after uh, click send button right after that we have to uh, load all the commands right if you click send button what's the command you are uh, enter it will be display below right uh, that task i will teach in my next tutorial uh, if you have any doubt on this you can ask me any time uh, thank you for watching i will continue in my next lecture